How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Oh, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, that's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you... Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. It's not what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be cooking from a dirty steal. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Declan. Should I draw a map for you? The gallery's right down the street.
Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves um, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. Hmm? Oh, oh, you mean the arm. Yes, oh, oh, that's an interesting story. If you've got the time for one. Well, you might say I have a certain love affair with the human anatomy. An obsession, really. Prosthetics seemed a natural occupation in which to uh, focus my enthusiasm, as it were. Well, I came to realize that I would never truly reach mastery in prosthetics without knowing what it was like to have to use one. And so I decided, quite out of the blue, actually, to cut off my own arm. My work, as you can well imagine, has quite improved since then. Aha! An eager participant! Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. 
Ha ha ha, that's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? In case you didn't notice, this ain't exactly the Tonight Show down here. It did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. What? Oh no man, no no no, not for me anymore. Look at my hand! Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Huh. Well, Missy, that's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position. Huh? The risks, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's a uniform, you know. Women just can't get over the uniform. Well, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613.
<clears throat> I'm suddenly... Need a fix? 